Hey, I'm Mark Romanak. Stick around because we're going to do a test ride video on a StarCraft 186 Super Fisherman. It's one of StarCraft's most popular boats. It's also, with this new graphic package, one of the best looking ones in the lineup. The 186 Super Fisherman is 18 foot 7 inches down the center line, has a 100 inch beam, and its maximum horsepower capacity 200 horses. A big part of what makes the 186 a great fishing boat is the power track hull. Now that's a StarCraft exclusive. What it is, a reverse chime hull design that really splits the waves, pushes the water out to the side, gives you a nice smooth re-entry, and makes it an ideal fishing boat for big water. I'm sitting on the rear casting deck of the 186 Super Fisherman, and there's a lot of room back here for fishing. This is an ideal position to be able to cast for all kinds of different species. But more importantly, what's going on is that this rear casting deck is very convertible. It has a lot of unique other features. Besides being able to stand up here or sit up here like I am right now and fish, we've got fold-down jump seats that we can involve as well. So if we want to go someplace and make a long ride someplace, we've got fold-up jump seats for a very comfortable ride. Underneath here, right where my feet are at, is where the live well is housed. It's a very deep, very spacious live well. Plenty of room in there for anything that you're going to catch, no matter what species that you're after. So all in all, this raised casting deck back here isn't just a casting deck. It's a casting deck. It's a live well. It's jump seats. It's everything rolled into one. I'm sitting on the starboard side here near the back of the boat, and what I like about this boat is it's got all these neat little places for storage. These little integrated compartments like this that don't have doors on them are really, really nice because you don't have to worry about a door folding open or having to close it all the time while you're running. It's just an open space and this little net right here keeps everything in there. So I can take things, bulky items like this life jacket, I can slide it in there and stow that. It's going to stay in there really, really nice, but it's easy to access those items when I need it. It's also big enough that you can put real bulky items like you know, your dock bumpers and that kind of stuff are going to fit in there really nice as well. So these little integrated storage spots in the 186, you can't beat them. They're just handy, super, super handy. You know, one of the important measures of a good fishing boat is rod storage, and the 186 Super Fisherman has got a lot of rod storage. Here on the port side, I can open up this little compartment here and I drop this door down. There's room in here for four fishing rods in here, but that's not all. Um, there's also integrated floor storage for rods as well, and you can put another six rods in the floor. So collectively, you can haul 10 rods in this boat at a time. That's an awful lot of fishing poles. Let's talk about batteries for a second. One of my pet peeves about fishing boats is that usually the cranking battery is stuck away in a corner someplace where it's hard to access, where it's hard to get the batteries in, get them out, or to maintain those batteries. Well, here with the Super Fisherman on the floor, there's this nice big compartment. I can open this up, and literally I can drop the batteries right straight down in here. Now, if I wanted to rig more than one battery in here, I could have lots of room to do that. And it's easy to get the batteries in, easy to get them out. There's place in here for charging units if you want to put a charging unit in here. So this is the way battery storage should be in every fishing boat. I'm sitting here at the Council of the 186 Super Fisherman. It's very well laid out here. What I'm looking at, first thing that strikes me is all my gauges are up front. I can see them right over top of the steering wheel. So when I'm running at full speed, I can look at my field gauge, I can look at my tack, my speedometer, I can see all those things that I need to see at a glance. Of course, over here is a nice big flat spot where I can mount my sonar GPS com, you know, combination unit, which is going to work out well. Down here, I got an AM FM radio, which is easy to access. There's also an accessory port here for 12 volts. Say you wanted to charge your cell phone, you got room to do that as well. There's an MP3 player port as well. So if you want to put in your own custom tunes, you can do that as well. The toggle switches on this particular boat are paused, and when you hit one, they light up and they stay indicated. So in other words, when I hit that switch, light comes on, I can look at a glance and say, oops, I accidentally forgot and left my navigation lights on. That's a very, very nice feature. All of this is laid out perfectly, and underneath is a little bit of extra room. Not only for leg room, but look at here. I can got a full-size tackle box that slides under there. It's a great place to put tackle boxes out of the way so that you can have additional tackle storage while you're fishing. Well, I've jumped across to the port side. I'm sitting on the port side console. The first thing that's going to jump out at you, of course, is this windshield. This walk-through windshield is very high. What I like about a high windshield on a boat like this is it deflects the wind up and over top of your head. That way you don't have to take your ball cap off every single time you want to put the boat on plane. Very nice feature. The other thing you're going to notice about this console is that look at this glove box. Now, I shudder to even call this a glove box because it's cavernous. There's a ton of room in there. You can use it for all kinds of storage. In fact, I can't remember the last time I saw a glove box that was big enough to put life jackets in, but this thing is certainly big enough to do that. So you've got lots of room here for your dry storage. And of course, the grab handle here, it's always nice to have that close by. When you're running in rough water, it gives you that little extra sense of security. This setup on the side console, pretty darn good for fishing. I give it an A1 rating. The 186 Super Fisherman is set up with a couple of different flooring configurations. 
Here on the raised casting deck in the rear and also on the raised casting deck in the bow, you're going to find carpeted surfaces. That's a really nice feature because it allows you to fish up here in comfort. You can even fish barefoot if you want. Now, on the cockpit of the floor, that's going to be vinyl, and that's where I think it's most important. The cockpit or the bottom part of the boat takes a beating. That's where you're going to have fish on the floor. That's where you're going to have dirty feet on the floor all the time. So vinyl is the most practical option here. It allows you to keep the boat cleaned up because all you have to do when it gets dirty, rinse it off, wash all that dirt and grime down the scuppers, and away you go with a nice, clean fishing boat. The bow casting deck on the 186 is set up very nice. Of course, there's plenty of room up here for a person to fish in comfort. I am happen to be sitting in this nice little comfortable chair here, which is the ideal location. Also, what you've got behind me is a platform for your electric motor. What I think is cool about this boat, it comes standard with an electric motor, but even more important, it has a quick disconnect on the electric motor. So let's say, for example, you don't need the electric motor at any particular time. You can pull out one pin, take the electric motor right off, store it in your garage, so you don't have to have that electric motor on if you don't want. Below my feet here, there's some other storage compartments up here. In fact, there's three different storage compartments up here, and there's a second live well. So the 186 Super Fisherman doesn't have just one live well. It actually has two aerated live wells, which is a nice feature. So let's say, for example, you want to keep fishing the back live well. Maybe you could keep your bait up here in the front. So it's really some nice options with the 186 Super Fisherman. Every nook and cranny in the 186 Super Fisherman is used intelligently for storage. For example, underneath my feet here, I've got this little small compartment. It's just got a little canvas cover over top of it. And it's going to be the perfect little place for storing small stuff like, like your flare kit gun, that type of stuff. Uh, even the controller for your electric motor slides up in here as well. So this little compartment, it's not a very big space, but it's just perfect for storing these items that otherwise would just get left out on the deck. You know, another nice feature about the race casting deck and the 186 Super Fisherman is that there's a center compartment that actually can be unlatched and removed. You can slide it right out. What that does is it gives you extra room to walk up there if you want to walk up there. It also gives you additional storage underneath that rear casting deck. It just, again, is another example of how the 186 uses all these little nooks and crannies in the boat to give you maximum storage potential. You know, the other nice feature about the Super Fisherman is it has these nice wide gunnels. The reason I like wide gunnels on a fishing boat is because it gives you lots of room to mount all kinds of important accessories. Things like rod holders, or maybe you want to put downriggers on this boat. What I would recommend on a boat like this, I'd mount track on this boat, and then I would put my accessories in that track. That way I can put the accessories in when I want them, and I can take them out when I don't need them. But a wide gunnel like this, it doesn't get any better in a fishing boat. You definitely got it going on here with the Super Fisherman. Hey, don't forget the 186 Super Fisherman comes in some cool new colors this year. Also has a special graphic package, and I like the blackout running surface, and I like the blackout on the top decks here. I think it makes this boat look great on and off the water. If you want to learn more about this boat, I'd recommend going to StarCraftMarine.com, check it out, or go to your favorite StarCraft dealer.